एस चांद प्रेजेंस एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एज पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम Now, what is transients? Transients actually, uh, in every instrument, in every uh, circuit where you switch on the supply, you can see, looking at voltmeter or ammeter, that this current or voltage do not uh, rises to steady or the final value at the same instant when t is equal to zero. That means when you switch on your current or supply. it do not reach its steady value it takes certain time to reach its steady value that time is called as transient time and the value within that period is called as transient value of that current or voltage and finally uh, when you switch on after certain seconds or second certain time you get a steady value that is constant value which you actually note down for your observation time similarly when you switch off your supply you remove your supply which we call it as source free circuit where there is no source in the circuit so you you remove the source from the circuit and uh, you expect that the current or voltage reduces to zero in uh, instantaneously but it does not happen this uh, this uh, resistance from the variation of current or voltage is because of inductor or capacitor in the circuit which stores energy which resists this variation in of energy and it takes certain time to reduce this current or voltage that period is called as transient period and that current or voltage is called as transient current or voltage and finally we uh, for the source free circuit finally uh, the voltage or current reduces to zero at a certain after a certain period of time so in this lecture we will discuss about this transient response or time domain response of rc and rl circuit Hi, I'm Professor Anjali Gar, and welcome to S Chand Academy. To know more about this topic, you can refer to this book by S Chand Publishing. The link to which is given in the description box below. Today, we are going to discuss about time domain analysis of first order RC and RL circuit. So, I have a circuit like this. Suppose I have a circuit like this, and there is a switch. There is a switch which consists of a Uh, the circuit consists of r and c this is my c and this is my r so initially and there is one more point so this switch is initially closed at this point and my capacitor is fully charged now and after certain instant after certain instant i connect this to the circuit like this now this is called as source free rc circuit where the capacitor is initially charged and now it discharged within the circuit and finally my current uh, die off or you can say that my circuit will not have any current after certain instant of time so initially there is the capacitor is fully charged but later on the capacitor discharges since the capacitor is initially charged we assume that at t is equal to 0 initial voltage is equal to v not which is the maximum voltage or peak voltage of this and this source free is where the capacitor we have connected this to at this point so there is no source in the circuit so my circuit will behave like this there are two current at this node ic that is a current in capacitor ir current in resistance so uh, using kcl my ic plus ir is equal to 0 so i apply kcl at node so ic and ir both are leaving this node so ic plus ir is equal to 0 so ic is the current in the capacitor and ir is the current in the resistance so ic is c dv by dt as we discussed in uh, capacitive circuit and ir is voltage by resistance as per ohms law so i have c dv by dt plus vr is equal to 0 now after reshuffling the elements dv by dc uh, dv by dt is i uh, brought c there so v by rc is equal to 0 now uh let me go back so i have shifted now this v to this place and this dt to th this place so that i can have dv and v at the same place so dv by v is equal to dt minus dt by rc and now integrate both side 
So after integrating, I am get, getting ln v is equal to minus p by rc after integration plus ln of a, where ln of a is constant of integration. Now to find the value of ln of a, I have to put the initial condition. So ln of v by a is equal to minus t by rc and if I solve this, I will get vt is equal to a e power minus t by rc where a is integration constant and to find the value of this a, I put initial condition. So what is initial condition? We discuss, uh, uh, just we discussed that initially capacitor is fully charged. So initially when t is equal to 0, my voltage is full voltage that is capacitor is fully charged and whole input voltage appears across the capacitor. So at t is equal to 0, if I put t is equal to, if I put t is equal to 0, I get V0 is equal to A, V0 is equal to A. So my A is V0. So this is my, this is my equation of voltage at time t which is equal to V0 that is a peak value of voltage E power minus T by RC. Now this RC, this RC is called as time constant which depends upon elements which we choose in the circuit. So based on the va value of R and C, my time constant varies and that time constant can be shown with this graph, this graph. This graph shows that initially when T is equal to 0, my voltage is full voltage that is peak voltage is equal to V0 and as the time varies, my Vt I will write the question again, V0 e power minus t by Rc or I can write V0 e power minus t by lambda where lambda is time constant and it is given by Rc. Now initially when t is equal to 0, when t is equal to 0, my Vt is equal to V0 rather V0 is equal to V0. So at t is equal to 0, I am getting maximum value of voltage V0. Now as a t increases, because this is negative, so as a t increases, this value of voltage goes on decreasing. So this voltage goes on decreasing and finally when t is infinite, that means I have switched off, I have uh, removed the source. So after t infinity time, this voltage will become 0. If I put t infinity, I am getting V uh, voltage 0 that means capacitor is fully discharged. Now time, how to get the value of this, this time constant? Let, let lambda is equal to T, let lambda is equal to T. So I will put lambda is equal to T, so we, I will get Vt is equal to, is equal to V0 e power minus 1. So if I put e exponential power minus 1, I will get the value 0.368 of V0. So time constant, this is time constant, this is tau time constant is that time. Definition says that time constant is that time in which voltage reduces to 36.8 percent of its initial value. So what is time constant? Time constant is that time in which voltage across the capacitor reduces to 36.8 percent of its initial value that is V0. So this is source free that is capacitor is fully charged there is no source and capacitor is acting like a source and initially it is fully charged and finally discharge off and time constant is that time in which that voltage reduces to 36.8 percent of its initial value which is this. Then is time domain analysis of source free RL circuit. Again my circuit will be like this. Initially there will be two way switch. This is called as two way switch. I have uh, inductor, I have uh, resistor. 
So this is I, L and R and this is two-way switch. So initially my switch is connected to this point. So there is energy stored in inductor. Now after, uh, as soon as I, as soon as, let me rub it. Yeah. So in, in after some time, let I connect to this point. Now this is called a source free source free uh, circuit because now there is no voltage source and the energy stored will be circulated in this circuit and finally dies off. So let VL is the voltage across inductor and VR is the voltage across resistance. So at T is equal to 0 inductor current is I0 and we also say that inductor current do not change instantly. So that means whenever we switch the, uh, the switch, we uh, change the switch at that point of time, inductor current will not change, which will remain same. So, if I apply KVL voltage across inductor, let me show you again. If I apply KVL, so as per KVL, voltage across inductor and voltage across in the, uh, uh, resistance will be equal to 0. Total voltage drop will be equal to 0. So, VL is equal to LDIV DT, VR is equal to IR. So, reshuffling this, let R uh, comes to this side. I am getting this, then di by di and then rest of the circuit integrate from I0 to IT. I0 is the initial current which is the maximum current and IT is the current at any instant of time is equal to 0 to T time second and I, if I integrate I am getting ln of I limits I0 to IT and R by, RT by L 0 to T time. So if I solve it uh, ln of IT divided by I0 is equal to minus RT by L or IT is equal to I0 E power minus RT by L where I0 is initial current at T is equal to 0. R and L is my circuit element and T is any instant of time at which we wish to see the current. So we can see that, let me go back. So my final equation is IT is equal to I0 E power minus RT by L. So initially at T is equal to 0, I get some value of current which is I0 and at t is equal to infinity, my current will be will reduce to 0 because there is no source. So you can see from this graph, initially when t is equal to 0, my current is maximum equal to I0. And as t increases, it reduces to 0. So I is equal to I0 e power minus t by tau or this is I0 e power minus r t by L. So you can see that lambda or uh, or you can say not lambda, this tau is equal to time constant is equal to L by R. So based on value of L and R, I can define my time constant where if I put tau is equal to T, tau is equal to T, I will get I naught e power minus 1. And if I put the value of this exponential power minus 1, I will see that this comes to be 0.368 of I0. So time constant, this is tau, is that time in which my current, initial current I0 reduces to 36.8% of its initial value. This gives me how, in how much time my this current is going to reduce to 0. So that gives me Whenever I switch off my supply, that gives me what is the total die off time in which my transient current is reducing. The shortest the time, the better is my system because the transient time gives me slow response. So uh, I can define the time constant is that time in which the transient current reduces to 36.8 percent of its initial value I0. So from this graph we can see that if I put tau is equal to T, so I am getting I0 is uh, e power minus 1. So if I put the value of exponential minus 1, I will get 0.368 of I0. So time constant is that time in which my current 
at an instant reduces to 36.8 percent of its initial value that means initially it is there so when i put t is equal to tau i am getting the value 36.8 percent of its initial value so based on my elements value ln r i can define my transient time in which my circuit current dies off so shortest is the time better is my system because that will give me the response of my circuit response in the sense that I switch off my source and it should die off instantaneously though it do not die off instantaneously but the lesser is the time the better is my response or output so this is all about time response of RC and RL circuit in this video we learned about what is time response of RL and RC circuit in source free source free means we have initially charged the capacitor or energy stored in inductor and as soon as I switch off my source I remove my source that capacitor that inductor will discharge or will will uh, the current will flow because of that energy stored and finally that current or voltage will die off that current and voltage will die off will depends upon the elements value which we call it as time constant so based on the value of time constant my current or voltage will die off and that is the time domain response of first order rc and rl circuit to know more about this topic you can refer to this book by s chan publishing the link to which is given in the description box below if you found this video interesting then like share and subscribe this channel and press the bell button for updates All rights reserved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.